when he, uh, he offended people by saying that Iranians are friends of all people in the world, including even Israelis. Now, his sin was not that he diverged from official policy. The Iranian government is very fractious. These things happen all the time. No, his culpable offense was that he permitted the inference that Jews are but another people who in different circumstances they could be living on good terms. A small inference that humanized the Jewish people for a moment, that was a dangerous setback to their dehumanization by this regime which is marching towards a bomb. And on that subject I will end by saying this, of all the arguments we need to make, surely this has got to be the easiest that we make before the American government and public. It's widely appreciated that nuclear-armed Iran is a great danger to Israel. But what is not frequently mentioned is that it is an enormous danger to the United States. Now, whatever the political security and economic risk for America, if diplomacy fails and it carries out a last resort military strike, it will be as nothing against the shadow of nuclear blackmail under which America will be obliged to live once Iran gets such weapons. And even if Iran never fires them at the US, who really believes Iran won't give such weapons to terrorists. I mean, think about it. Japan in 1945 was fanatically opposed to surrendering. It took two atomic bombs to change its mind. Do people really believe Americans are going to har fight harder than the Japanese did then? And what if they do fire violence as a third bomb? And, and even if an Iran never fires at the US, who really believes Iran won't give such weapons to terrorists? And who believes that once having such weapons, terrorists won't use them on the US? And let me step back and say that even if neither uses them, what unending series of concessions, climb downs, and retreats will America have to undertake to ensure that it continues? Once Iran gets the bomb, our freedom and security here in this country will be compromised beyond anything we imagined. Israel faces an unappeasable enemy. How successfully we bring that message across to the American government and public in this country and in the West has a big part to play in a answering a seldom asked question if and when we have victory over our enemies. And it will certainly have a role to play in how quickly, if at all, Americans clamor for action to deal with Iran before Mr. Ahmadinejad has his finger on the nuclear trigger. Thank you.